Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm D Great, and today we continue our entry level 2 Megabase, where we in the last episode just got um, this nice uh, green circuit set up and running, and it has already filled up with uh, more than 300,000 uh, green circuits. So that is gonna last us for a few minutes, at least running at full speed. So uh, that is very, very nice. In today's episode, I very much want to get the, the last part of our utility science packs up and running. Meaning that I want to get flying robot frames done. Meaning that we'll make a little grid with those. And then we can import them all together. Our process units, flying robot frames and loading structure into a, a new kind of build. So um, if you think that's a good idea, do remember to leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. So let's find a good place to make our flying robot frames. So it require a few things in, lubricant among other things. So if you see here we require four different items. Three of them we're gonna make in different grids, we already are, but we might want to make electric engines and um, also engine units in the same grid as it's pretty much just iron and steel which we already have going in. So I think we should be able to do it in some decent way. So firstly, let's take our train and let's see if we can find a good place to set it up. It doesn't need to be anywhere particular. And let's see, let's see. Do we have anywhere I want to go? I think I saw a grid somewhere over here we could use. We'll probably set it up maybe just right here. Let's, uh, let's go for that idea. Using this little grid for it. Um, looking at our flying rubber frames, we only need about, what's it called, 400 or something, about 500 to get um, enough for 2000 uh, science per minute. So we might want to set it up uh, in around that area, just to see what kind of uh, things we can throw in, and uh, see what we can actually build. So. How big can we make this? Firstly, let's just place down a few things. Do a little speed test. As we've done so many times before. Maybe wanting to take a bit more from, uh, from different areas. Yeah. And let's get you down here. Unfortunately, we can't use modules in it. Let's see if we change to this one. But we can. Never mind then, I thought we couldn't, but um, that way we can actually uh, get a lot produced. Let's see here, UFO, UFO, and a bit of power. So one of these produces at the moment about um, 23 per minute or a bit less than this per second. So in theory, we don't have to worry about belts too much, we can quite easily uh, fit it in. So as I said, we're going for 2k science minutes, so if we make about 21, that should be enough to supply what we need for 2k. So making 21 of these, let's see down this way, with four inputs and output, that will be uh, two mixed belts and um, what's it called, the output ones. Can we make it 21 long? That is what I want to try first. Let's do this. Let's get my own robots to do it. We can actually test. 12. How much does do? 15. 18. 21. This is about how long as, as it has to be. Then we need to get these filled up all the way down. Might move it in a bit. If needed. And here. Do the same on the opposite side. Here. Might be able to take the blueprint from somewhere else. Since we should have something with the belt weaving with the one going out. So no need to build it all the way from scratch. 
do it like that. In theory, we can just do this to check. We need this times 21 is what we decided on. So 5, 5, 11, and 17. So we can easily split however we want it together. Um, oh, not however we want. We have to split this these two together. That will give us 22 point something. So it's oh, just about what we need. But we are overbuilding a small amount. Since the correct number is uh, 20.7. But we should be able to get in enough to make it run as I want. So what if we do this? Do we need to move it over? One, two, three different items in. So let's see here on loading. We'll have one. Oh, not that, sorry. One. Two and three. That's one to three items in. That can be the three we need for here. So steel, green circuits, and batteries. Then what we need to make is electric engine units. If we saw right here, times 21. We will require about let's say six per second to make this run. So um Let's see how many one produces. First, let's do that. Do you. And get some speed down here. There we are. Change you into electric engines. Require some lubricant in. Other than that, we can hopefully do a mixed belt. That produces... Um, about seven. So in case you want to get it to eight, I'll do this. See, that means we have to get to eleven of these. Should produce what we need in terms of uh, getting in the lubricants. Getting in what we need. Well, that's with productivity. That's why. That's fine. So let's place in 11 of these and we should be good to go. Loop print is fine. That is fine. We can easily get it on one belt. Then we also need one of these on the opposite side. We need six in terms of... Um, what's it called? Normal engines. How much does that take in space? I'll please take you over here change you into engine units. That produces four per second. This one requires for the 11 we need or the eight we need. Requires six, so if you get you to six, that's gonna require 15 of these. So, um, so that's pretty much how we're gonna do it. And the input wise, it's gonna be easy enough. We'll need to get iron in and some of you to produce what we need. So we'll probably have iron coming in at the bottom. But let's just upgrade this to 15. Wait, 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 wait. Let's check it again. This should be probably more correct. Yeah, we need nine. We need nine, that makes more sense than what we had before. Let's just mark it out what we need. And then we'll do the rest afterwards. So one. Stop that, please. Two, three, six, nine. That'll be this. For this one, we needed a total of, was it 11? We need it there. Yeah, about 11 of these and we should be good to go. Or the eight we need over here. One, two, three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Nine, eleven. That should be good. 
And let's power it and just see if uh, if our math is correct. Let's just quickly do it like this to see if it actually lines up with what we need. Because checking the math is, is always good to do as you get going. So let's see, let's mark this here. For a second, a bit of a nip. Oh, we have way too many of these. Oh, we only need five. Oh, let's, let's try and look correctly at this. Two point something, something in net. Oh, I looked at the wrong place. So let's see what if we remove one, two, three, four of you. How does it look then? That means we are a bit lower than what we need. But we are producing a bit more than what we need here. This is producing eight. How much is that per minute? That is 479. That should be just enough compared to what we need. As long as things are running full speed. That is always um, the case here. Let's just add one more to be sure we have the throughput. That should also mean that we have too many of the other engines. Two point something. Let's check again. Each one produces seven, so we can move one more view. This should be the correct ratio. Let's check all of it. Giving us an uh, eight per, uh, per cycle. Very good. A small surplus, less, small surplus, less. And uh, that looks very, very good. So the next thing we need to do is figure out the two inputs, green circuits. We'll be needed for both of these, so that's not too bad. So, firstly over here. Iron and gear wheels. We require... 6 and 3, so pretty much nothing. But we do need to get them on, on a belt. 1... 2... 3... Do it here. Because then we'll have gear at the top, pipes at the bottom. Let's give you some productivity. Oh, no productivity in that one. We can give it speed instead if needed. But now there's a surplus of both, so we don't actually need more than one of each. Uh, we could, in theory, maybe move it up a bit then to save on, on things. How much iron do we need then? Blue Belt of Iron can do wonders on this one. Yes. Then the outputs will go on uh, on a belt. Yeah, well, of course the outputs go on a belt, but uh, around that. So if you do, you have inputs, and we then just do. What if we do? Well, how fast do they need to be outputted? Can one handle it? It. Probably can, only 6 per second. What if we do this, just... I know it requires us to have one more beacon, maybe then need it, but it gets the setup to be quite a bit easier. By having this going out, like that. And we can have iron going in. 12, 14, so that means we can theory just do it on red belts. That is important for the belt weaving. So if we build with you, there, that's the gear wheels and such, up from here to there, and in, that looks pretty decent, down here, we'll have your output on each side of the belt, hopefully that can keep up, and then we'll have a blue belt going in, jumping from here to here, and I don't know if we need two or one to input it. How many is being consumed per second? Ooh, 22. Yeah, we probably need a few of these to actually make it go in fast enough. And then the output wise. 15 out. Yeah, we will. Use 22, give us 15 out. Yeah, we'll probably need a few of you. Wait, 15? Well, we don't need that many. <laughs> Let's... 
Let's keep on going. We only need three and we only need six. So one should be enough. Then we have a nice surplus, but that is that is fine. This will be an iron line. But in theory, probably skip some of these. As this is already producing too much. Can I remove that one? No, I need you for the engines. So you can move one. That's going to be good. So we have iron in at the bottom. Do you require iron as well? Oh, you require the engines. That's going to go around. Into here, we could in theory. Just do blue belts over here to jump it. What is the best way to jump you? Because I kind of want you to jump like that. Yeah, that seems fine. And you produce one every less than one a second. So in theory, we don't need that fast of inserters. That goes out. And input wise, then we have gears and the pipes, then we just need the steel in, that can just go on this side. Uh, probably just in one of you going down. Let's, let's do with the underground, so it looks better. So... Yeah. We'll go in. You can drag, if we don't use undergrounds for it. Something like that. Okay, so that should be you hooked up. Doesn't take up that much of the grid, but that's fine. So we can always expand it out in the future if needed. But let's see here. Then we also want the rest. And let's get the power poles. So there, there. Here, here, and here. Can we get some power, please? Just here for now. Stop the blinking. So that is engine units. Probably do a loading station, maybe here. One, two, three, four. Green circuits, green circuits. So let's get green circuits on this one. How many do we need? 17. Oh, you're not power, so I can't check you right now. And eight. So one is enough. So let's just get green circuits in here. Green circuits. Lubricant, we also need it. can probably do that at the bottom. Maybe just taking some lubricant in over here. So we have fluid loading. Fluid unloading even. There we are. That will go over and up this way. So what is the easiest way to manage this? If you do that... We still have two belts going in somewhere. Doesn't need to be overly well managed, but it should work. Um, yeah, if we do this, and then undergrounds. That gives us enough. Then we have one output for. Last, oh wait, never mind, we'll do it like this. Then we should have the outputs we need by doing it in here. So that way we're not taking up any space for what we need. There we are. Then let's output on this side as well. So you'll go from here to here. There. Yeah. That outputs nicely. One every, well, less than one per second. So 
output outputs outputs maybe we can have some power in between later let's do power 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 and power Then we need a mix belt of these two in. We did already check that we will only need eight and four, so we can merge these two together. We have green circuits here. Let's just get green circuits uh, flown in. Flown in. Green circuit on loading. Please leave it at that. We have a ton in the base, so we even have a ton waiting. And then that is fine. That is fine. Do we want... We want this one to unload here, I think. Unload here, sorry. Where you at? Train loading. That will load all of the output. Then we can probably just get... We'll just get iron in here. Then it can go up. Let's just do iron there, that's fine. Let's just drag the iron. I'll just do one line, because we know that's enough. this way. So that is the iron solved. And then outputs goes up here. This outputs as well. So this one. And then we just need the steel in on this side. So what if you take steel? Ooh, is this going to work or is this going to be an issue with these? One, two, three. So batteries here and steel up there will probably be the best. So you'll be batteries. And you will be steel over here. Let's just hook you up to batteries. Battery unloading. Go my little minions. And we'll have steel here. Steel unloading. Mm, yes, that's starting to be delivered as well. Then we can start to hook up what we need. Firstly, steel right here. One line is enough. We need steel for two things. And we need exactly per second only nine steel. In theory, just flying in. Flying and getting one steel in will be enough. So a steel line running... Maybe just right here. It will be a steel. Going all the way across to here. And merge or oh, splitting into this one. There we are, that's a steel. This one will have to go here. So if we just take you up and jump you from there to here, I think that'll be quite easy to manage. I'll go on one side. With this one going that way afterwards. So you'll need a green circuit line. We'll probably just do blue. Oh, mix them. I have a blue going down here. For example, what if you jump like that? To you there. That goes in. Then we'll have you going that way with the green circuits from up here. Needed for two things. We only require a 
half a blue belt pretty much. So we can take one belt from here. We can go down this way. Probably go this way here. And what for once? Oh, for one thing actually, you'll go there and jump. Green circuits, you can go in, that's fine. Then we have the engines from over here, just requiring a bit of iron. I'm just getting things up and running now so we don't mix up the belts. Iron plates. Iron unloading. That will go in, that will go this way. That will kick off this one. Now we just need to combine the things over here. Well, of course we need a lubricant as well. And you can go down this way. You can start... Somewhere like that. Kent. Ooh, not get hits. Yeah. Duplicant. Duplicant unloading. Go my little trains. We don't have that many going yet. Let's get all these removed and let's hook up the belts we need. I kind of deactivated everything, but that's fine. So one, two from over here. Let's see, how is it we want them to be connected up? Um, that one. So to be honest, actually just looking at that. 17 and 5, that's 22 something. Doesn't matter, we'll just give you a full belt. 1. 1, 2. Can we merge enough? Can I do what I want? Oh, those two together, will that be an issue? I think you will be fine. So, engines and green circuits, you two can go together. We'll do the same we did before, so right here on the outside. Green circuits goes the other way. Jump. Green circuits. That will go down this way. So if we do that, oh, let's do this correctly before we do anything. And there we are. Dragging you down. We have all the input and output sorted. And let's do the last one that just because it looks better. You will collect everything you need to uh, to get this going. Let's just get the rest of you in. There we are. So this is now hooked up and let's uh, just hook in the things. You can actually jump from here to there. I think this should give us all we need to uh, produce. So that's electric engines and green circuits. Don't need steel and uh, batteries. Batteries are here in bulk. Actually, a lot. About 30,000, 32,000 to be precise. And we just need one teeny belt going up this way. We could, in theory, give this uh, some more room, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Do we want to change this because we actually have room? Mm, good, good question. First, let's just grab uh, these. We're gonna flip you. 
and hook you up. Do it there. Oh, that looks so crooked. I do not like that. Let's get that here instead. And flip. Like that. Then we'll take you. You can go like that. And have a mix build of those two going in. And then we can in theory take some more green circuits if needed. Just on another line over here. If you want more in. Yeah, let's do that one, that one. And let's take you from over here. Take, take this one for now. We can always improve it in the future. Up here and in. Down. That's all the inputs we need. That's all going to get delivered. Let's get down some power poles. So that is all of that hooked up. If you away, we can. And else we can hook it up quite easily. Else we'll just do that. There we are. That should be going in. And then we just need to get ourselves a our green. What's it called? Um, an output for all of this. For that, since we only get about 8 per second, we could just hook up a red one, probably just over on this side, uh, getting it out. So if we do red, we must start there to there. Just like this, get out and some fast inserters. Then, as soon as this is hooked up, then it should start to output them at a pretty nice rate and uh, giving us what we need. Of course, we can always double this if needed. Pretty much just copy pasting it, copy pasting it over. We might even be able to get it times three, one, two, ah, about times two, if we're going to get enough for four K signs per minute. But if you look at the ratios now, bit of a surplus, bit of a surplus, bit of a surplus, and producing eight per uh, minute, or eight per second. Sorry. U times 21. One gives us what's called 479 and we need 476. So should be good. At least that is enough for what I want to leave it at. So last thing we need to do, we just need to connect it up. Something we have done many, many times before. Let's just do it. We couldn't fear just do it in the middle, but over here it's fine. We are. And there. You'll be flying rubber frames out. Probably limit this a bit. Wait, we need that much because it's stacked that high. And we will do. Flying rubber frames. Loading. Flying robot frame. There we are. And that way we can start to request that to the network. As soon as everything is outputted correctly, let's just do... Go all the way down in case. 
that works. So let's just check that everything runs now. Things are getting emptied out. We're having a surplus. And everything just needs to quickly empty out before we end this episode. Yeah, eight per second. They're all running. This is all running. Green circuit is still backing up. Just once we see that everything is running as intended, and it should be. And green circuit is getting all the way to the end, it seems. So I think this is a pretty nice build as it is right now, and that will supply us with everything we need. So I'll end the episode here. Do remember to comment what you think about the, this build. And uh, of course, subscribe if you're new. And then in the next episode, we might actually set up a utility science pack as uh, we have all three things being made in the base at the moment. Fully beaconed, fully up and running. Do we need to get... Hmm, do we need to get you on? Let us quickly do that. I have a feeling I'm missing it. Let's quickly do this, this just as a test. Do you need it? And to I think this I think this will be fine. At least we will uh, we'll end the episode here. So thank you so much for watching guys. Do remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you want the blueprints, jump on Discord and I will share it with you. So uh, with that, I've been Decray and I will see you next episode. Bye guys.